there's a transition video is a background video to the scene another transition more background video and then on top of that it's being drawn SWF objects that is a video masking uh, template I'm playing with now here's a image being drawn then the transition happens to another background video and objects drawn on top of that that's how we're getting the fluid motion okay and then another transition now this is video I got from the free video free uh, royalty free video module and I pop that in the screen then blew it up now I'm gonna have another transition out of that into another background video with an SWF drawn on top of that and that's the end so that those are transitions now here's what we're gonna build right now I just wanted you to see a couple of them in action okay so we have the clock there and then it's gonna move now we're gonna transition to another background video and another object okay and then that object goes away so here's I just want to give you an example of also of how the slide architecture kind of works so you have an idea what we're doing when you're looking at the blocks up here on the screen uh, I am representing those blocks here and then when you go to the scene tab there's a background video that plays throughout the whole scene this is one scene here this is one scene here how do you know the difference because there's a black bar between the scenes so you can tell which is which so <clears throat> here's one scene here's another scene here's that background video plays throughout the whole scene no matter what you're doing new scene starts new video starts so then you put your clock here and you put your guy there you bring a video in or image here is the SWF that is the transition as you can see as you add items to the stage they stack one on top of the other that's that's how it works this one will play and then that one will play and then this one will play and then that thing will play and that makes up your scene now if these things don't cover the screen then you're watching this background video throughout the whole time all of this animation is happening so you put your stuff on the screen slides whatever and then your transition is sitting on top and it does the wipe from clear screen to full screen wipe stops right there then here's your new scene now the first action you want to do in the next scene in order this scene right here right the next thing you want to do is put the ending part of the transition so it goes from full screen cover to zero and it reveals what's underneath which will be the background video then the next object is drawn and then the next thing you brought in and then the next now what would happen is if you had no background video when you came out of this transition it would just be white underneath then this would happen then that would happen okay so to give you an example of that here is the way this looks right now the clock is drawn moves over a bit transition happens you won't get that buffering slide access and then here's the new uh, scene with the drawing happening and the guy moves down okay now if if I remove the background video here and render this scene you'll see <clears throat> Here's background video playing with the optic being drawn on top, moves over, transition happens. Now there's nothing. Transition happens, then this drawing occurs. So you, you have to have something in the background video or this is what you will end up with. So now, if I go back and put something in the background and render this again, now you see it starts background video. SWF being drawn on top moves over transition happens and then now the new video is revealed now that buffering assets you saw only happens here in preview when, when you run it out the video you don't have that problem